It's Saturday, February 7, 2015, at about 8 o'clock in the morning. We're driving from the uh, central region of Rio de Janeiro to a neighborhood called uh, Santa Teresa, which is a beautiful uh, neighborhood up in the hills and back of uh, the central district of, uh, of uh, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, what we're going to see is the uh, Bloco of the Santa Teresa Block Party, um, which attracts about 7,000 plus celebrants, um, and for this year is entitled Heaven on Earth. Uh, this uh, is a typical type of block party uh, that you see here in uh, Rio. Uh, it has a sound truck, has people with percussion instruments, and a lot of dancers and partiers. Um, this is going to be the first of three block parties I'm going to cover today. The second one's going to be in the beach area called Le Blanc, uh, which is the highest uh, rent district or, you know, uh, here in uh, Rio de Janeiro. And then um, the last uh, one I'm going to be covering is the Ipanema Beach one, which is going to be in the afternoon. And then tomorrow I'll be covering another block up party for you to see. Uh, it's about a week before a Rio Carnival 2015 starts. Uh, people don't realize that uh, here in Rio the actual celebrations do start a week before. So like for this weekend, uh, there's been 111 or 110 licenses issued by the uh, Rio authorities to have block parties. These block uh, parties include different parades. So while the Rio authority has issued about 450 plus uh, licenses for block parties during Rio Carnival uh, starting January 15th to the 24th of February. Uh, you're going to also see 600 parades, which are part of the uh, licenses for the uh, block party. Suffice it to say, Santa Teresa is a wonderful, beautiful area, as you can see. Uh, it's, okay. it's very hilly. Uh, in the old days, it used to be uh, the high-class uh, neighborhood for the whole city. Uh, later on, it now it's become a hot spot for artists has a lot of studios and galleries. Um, it's uh, famous for having what they call the uh, Santa Teresa tram, which is a tram going from the Lapa district in, uh, in uh, Rio up here to the uh, Santa Teresa area. The sun is still under reconstruction, however, because about a couple of years ago they had a tremendous accident where about five or six people were killed. Hope they get it ready by uh, uh, the uh, start of uh, uh, the Olympics. We were late for the start of the uh, parade. Uh, you can see this is where it started down here and it, uh, headed uphill uh, right there on uh, the street. Um, so we're going to walk up the street and see if we can uh, tag on to uh, the celebration. As you can see, a lot of young people uh, attend these. Uh, there's a lot of drinking and there's also uh, a lot of uh, crime, pickpockets, uh, robberies, if you, if you will. Uh, that's why you see a lot of police around these different uh, block parties. Um, this, since this uh, is about this early in the morning, um, it actually it attracts a crowd which is a lot uh, more subdued than most of the crowds that you see at these block parties. Um, and it's really the first block party which uh, kicks off the weekend celebrations because it's so early starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, as you can see up here, they do bring ambulances um, and uh, there are injuries and of course things get a little rougher as drinking uh, progresses. <laughs>
Well, here's the end of the line. Uh, as you go up the street here, uh, you're going to uh, hit the uh, sound truck and uh, the place where all the band members are and uh, the uh, singing. But uh, right now, these people are working their way up to uh, that area. I'm going to try to push through the crowd, see how far up I can get. I'm not too sure I can get up that far. Plus, I have to uh, leave here soon to attend the start of the LeBron uh, blockout party, which is about 10 o'clock in the morning. Thank <laughs> you.